bioluminescent torpedo dolphin. Down. I gotta get my head back in the game. Where's mommy and Sierra? Where did they go? <laughs> What's your scariest thing that ever happened at night? I remember just hearing this like boom and like a wave came and like hit the side of the boat. And it literally knocked the whole boat on its side, sails in the water and everything, broke all the dive tanks off the rail. Um, Kaza woke up on the wall instead of in bed. Yeah, psh, it was a really big wave. We're ready? Ready. Let's do this. All right. Here we come, mate. Go. It should be like a four four day sail. Mm -hmm. Four hundred and sixty nautical miles, and let's do this. We haven't done a long passage in a while. So, this will be exciting. Okay, we're off the bottom. Bye-bye, Costa Rica. See you next time. Bye-bye, Costa Rica. Here are Vida, bitches. I absolutely love food. It's one of my very favorite things about traveling. So when we're out sailing and swimming a lot, I feel super healthy and really good and fit. But when we get into port, I yo-yo right back and can pack on the pounds in a hurry. Which is why I was totally excited when Noom approached us to check out their program and sponsored this video. So Noom uses education and psychology to help you make better lifestyle decisions and find a more balanced approach to your health. And one of the first lessons I learned about the importance of water, and not just about the amount of water that you drink every day, but also in choosing foods that contain more water, which can help you feel more satisfied and full. I also really liked was the calorie tracking. Uh, it's super easy to do pretty much. All you gotta do is like type in the food, choose it from a list, or you can even scan a QR code. And if you do this and you log your meals consistently, you will also get recipe suggestions that fit within your daily calorie budget. So one of the other cool things that I really like is the way that exercise is tracked. I personally like to do a lot of swimming, but then I also like to go into the beach, play with the nugs. It's definitely a custom exercise routine. I'm very happy to report that after a few weeks, I'm making progress towards my goal. The lessons are going well, and the calorie tracking has actually reviewed quite a few unhealthy eating habits that I have. Something I need to work on, especially in eating more green foods. Uh, it also turns out that I am not drinking nearly enough water, which was actually a pretty big surprise to me. So for a free Noom evaluation, just head on over to noom.com forward slash svdelos. That's n o o m.com forward slash svdelos. You can learn how to start your own personalized plan and sustainably meet your goals. Thanks very much for watching. Back to the show. We are underway, underway, leaving Costa Rica for Mexico. Here's where we are right now. Our last stop. We just go out around these islands and then it's pretty much a straight shot past Nicaragua, be all the way here. The first port in Mexico, it's called Puerto Marrera, but they change it to Chiapas. Yeah, if we can maintain six knots, it'll be about a three day sail. But we might have some wind today. We're motoring straight into uh, three knots right now. So I'm hoping <laughs> we get 15 to 20 uh, of like a land breeze this afternoon. If not, I think it's gonna be like zero to two knots is what the forecast says all the way to Chiapas, which is about 450 miles away. Finally, we have wind. We've been sailing for approximately four minutes. Can you believe it? It's a miracle. 
It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Costa Rica miracle. So nice. If we can just sail like this all the way. All the way to Mexico? I would be pretty happy. I'll be happy if we have it for even like 30 minutes. I'm already stoked. Oh, 1.8. 1.6. We're almost there? Um, at this rate, I think it's going to take us about 12 days. 12 days? How fast are we going? That's no time. Oh, 1.9. Oh, 2.3. Oh. <laughs> so if you're wondering oh, you uh, why we choose to motor uh, instead of waiting for wind, it's because during this time of year, we're kind of between the seasons. And so the windy season here starts to wind down in like February and March. April uh, and now it's virtually nothing so the nice thing is we have to deal with less of the Papagayo and the Tuanapec winds because those are really like virtually non-existent right now uh, the bad thing is we're getting like thunderstorms and squalls and the hurricane season is kind of coming up behind us and so if we want to go we just sort of need to make the best of it and um, yeah that's about it It's on the bow. What is it? A bird just landed up on the seat. Hey, buddy. Like a big one. Oh. Hi, birdie. Wanna wave bye to the birdie? Hi, birdie. That was so cool. <laughs> we tried a few times. He got pretty close to the wind turbine, which is like a little bit scary, but. <laughs> so cute. What a first sunset. So pretty, and how it like reflects in the water. Got like the best seat in the house. One good thing about not having any wind to sail is that the ocean is just glass. I know. So peaceful and beautiful. It's like reflects so cool. It was a very like slow coming sunset as well. Like it yeah. started off kind of. It looked like it wasn't gonna be <laughs> too spectacular enough. I know. Sailing into the sunset, huh? Not really, but the motoring, motoring into the sunset. Bioluminescence occurs through a chemical reaction that produces light energy within an organism's body. For a reaction to occur, a species must contain luciferin, a molecule that, when it reacts with oxygen, produces light. In this case, the wake of Delos moving through the water creates a spectacular show. Even though the quality of the footage isn't that great, we still think it looks pretty cool. When Delos was approached by a pod of dolphins zipping through the ocean, it really blew our minds. But it's bioluminescent torpedo dolphins. Sounds like a like a weapon from a movie, movie or something, like bioluminescent dolphins with lasers. Torpedo. Wow, that's Whoa. cool. Whoa. Whoa, yeah, you can see him. Oh my god, you can see, see right there. Turn. Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa, oh my god. That's crazy. Holy shit. Wow. Hey guys, oh my goodness. Bioluminescent dolphins. Here comes one right here. Whoa. See it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Look at, you can see him way back there. It's look like an avatar mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, here comes one, another what one right here. This? Oh my god. Wow, there's so many of them. Oh jeez. Oh my god. That's a nice taco. That's a very nice taco. Wow. What a treat. We got wind, we got tacos. Mm -hmm. Living the dream out here. Hopefully that squall just stays behind us for the next 400 miles. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Fingers crossed. What 
Dude, what am I finding down here? <laughs> Jordan! Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. Look away. She's okay, eating the so beans. She, what she just told me when she gets buried, she wants to get buried in a bag of beans. No. I did I actually. She should get buried in a bean field. I did a actually. A bean field. <laughs> okay, give me, give me some privacy over here. Okay. So can, uh... Bye. <laughs> no need. Where's Mommy and Sierra? Where did they go? No. <laughs> Okay, I have a question for you, Kaza. Oh. Right. What's your scariest thing that ever happened at night on the boat? Oh. What's like your most intense like night situation that you've ever had? There's been a lot of scary moments under sail, like in the dark, but <laughs> I feel like the most anxious I probably was was when I was like super new to sailing and it was like one of the first night passages we did and it was in Australia. You're sailing south in the middle of the night towards uh, with Sundays. And it was like super hectic waves and like I didn't know anything about sailing. I wasn't on watch but I was laying actually right here and I remember just hearing this like boom and like a wave came and like hit the side of the boat and it literally knocked the whole boat on its side, sails in the water and everything, broke all the dive tanks off the rail. And I remember like waking up, laying like on top of these cabinets right here. Oh my god. So I was like on top of these cabinets. Kaza woke up on the wall instead of in bed. The boat was still on its side and then it popped back up and just kept on going. Right now, And I didn't really know like, should I be scared? Like is this normal? You know, going to sink right now? So I was just like, holy shit. And then I just bounced back as we, you know, came up again. And, yeah. and then I could just hear like all the dive tanks that got ripped out of the, like out of where they were tied up. So it was like dive tanks falling, they were, like flying <laughs> around it. And I just remember running outside and being like, I really hope like nobody <laughs> fell overboard and you know. Yeah. Because I can't sail this boat. Like I didn't know anything. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. Yeah, big way. <laughs> going across the Indian Ocean on the way to Madagascar. That was the worst of the worst. Like, sustained 50 knot winds or greater for like two or three days. Well, it broke these windows Whoa. on the side and we had to close the companionway for the first time ever. Tense. And wait, the boat was just getting thrown around. Everybody had to sleep on the floor. Whoa. It was terrible. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it is a wild ride out here. Took two massive waves over the side of the beam that just crashed into the cockpit. You can see him coming, and then all of a sudden, just fills this whole thing with water. I've never seen that before. Sustained 40 knots, pretty much. Well, I don't want to do that ever again. Well, it's the funniest thing that's ever happened at night. Oh, now you're putting me on the spot here. Yeah. We used to like draw these dirty pictures to each other like in our logbook, and so the next person would come on and see a, a picture that <laughs> they might not want to see. I'll just leave it at that. That was good fun. Yeah. I'm doing well though. I'm cruising, we're on course, we're sailing, bioluminescent dolphins, tacos, rock and rolling. Happy days. Happy days. Okay. My night watch is quite rolly. We don't have that much wind and it's actually dropping way more. So far we're just over four knots and at least we're sailing. I was just sitting here and I felt like I heard a lot of kind of weird splashes and stuff and just noticed that it's like so many dolphins were on the boat like a big school of them like so many like we're not going that fast we're going like four knots but they're still like playing and <laughs> jumping around the boat it's great dolphins are always good always makes me happy It's five o'clock in the morning. There was so much lightning. It was really, really cool. 
and now we have a little bit of breeze. Um, so yeah, put a jib out, and we're still going like five and a half knots, which is great. It's very chill, very calm morning. Day two of our passage to Mexico. Things are looking pretty good. Check it out. How did the nugget do last night? Yeah, I think she was like for an hour, maybe between 11 and 12. I heard her quite a few times, just like whining a little bit, but like super sleepily. I checked on her, she was fine. She's been doing really good. Yeah. I'm amazed at how she can move around now. It was a little challenging last night with her. She has like a routine where she gets her cracker and the doors are like slamming. I know the door smashed her in the head last night. Yeah. And she wanted to get her cracker out and the boat took a big roll and she almost went flying. And then I caught her leg to help her and then she got very upset with me for helping her. Do you remember when I helped you and you, you said nay? But we're still sailing. We have good winds. It's so weird, like this wind is not forecasted at all. No, none of this wind is, but whatever, I'll take it. What's the deal with this single earplug? We met this guy, Paul, <laughs> and he said he's worked on like um, tall ships uh, with a lot of like kids and teenagers. Uh, and he said for seasickness, sometimes you can put one earplug in and it will help for seasickness. And at this point, I feel like I do anything. Like I Besides to... taking a pill, because yeah. the pills make you super tired? Yeah, the pills just make me feel so out of it. Like, it's like a balance there. Like if I'm about to puke, like I'll definitely take the pill because it's better than puking. But if I'm just feeling like this, like a little bit off, if I take a pill, like I, I get so tired. Yeah. And then it's not really fun to like take care of her. And... It's hard enough already. What are you doing, monkey? Who's driving the boat? Jeez. <laughs> What just happened? Yes! Yeah. Somebody got his second Yahtzee of his lifetime onto the first roll. What? <laughs> like literally the first roll? First well, turn. Well, the first turn. The second, second roll, roll on the first turn. Wow. That's a Yahtzee. I'm yeah. a man. I'm impressed. How do you like to know? Oh, that's pretty good though. How did I do? Well, the scores are in, ladies and gentlemen, and it was a devastating victory by Brian. Hey! hey proud of you. Winner, winner! Brian got two Yahtzees in one game, which is virtually quite a, unheard of. Quite a feat, yeah. Uh, for a total score of 406. Wow. To my how much? Respectable, but not nearly close enough to win. 269. Wow. At least 69s in there. <laughs> so, so <we're> gonna, <laughs> Kaz is like, oh my god, you two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 games. We're gonna add up all the scores at the end. And whoever has the highest score after 10 games is going to be the uh, princess of the passage. Yeah. You wanna get in on this, Kaz? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian. Oh, geez. I think it. I think it looks like that I'm winning now. Yeah, I had a terrible last game. I lost like, I don't know, I was up like 70 points and then in one game now I'm down like 100 points. It was a huge swing. Yeah. There's still time. Anything can happen in, in Yahtzee. I gotta cool down. I gotta get my head back in the game. Yeah. It's the face of... Get, get, out, get out of here. Bloater. Disappointment. But yeah.
kind of eerie out here. It just nothing going on. This is our reoccurring segment of Naughty or Nice. We've got some real winners for you today. I think I'm excited about it. Which should we do first? Naughty uh, or nice? I think we always start with a nice one. Always start with a nice one? Yeah. Okay. Or at least for this week. Okay. <laughs> I, I think it's a good choice. Okay. So this one is from one of our patrons named oh. John Avola. And he says, hey guys, I'll try and be real quick about this, although I'd probably want to sit here and tell you a bunch more about how you guys affect people that you don't even know and how great that could be and how strong of a message you guys send through your videos. It says, I'm currently on vacation in the middle of Pennsylvania and it was a really hot day and we were walking around the pool. We got there a little bit late and couldn't find a seat. Uh, I had my hat and my Dello shirt on and a guy comes out to me and says, hey man, take two of our seats. I said, you don't have to do this. His response was, any Delos fan can take a seat from me. No. <laughs> so I just want to say that right there is why the Delos Aww. tribe is such an awesome thing, spending love all over the place, spreading love all over the place. Peace, guys. That's super Very cute. nice. That's amazing. Uh, and are you ready for the naughty one? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for the naughty one. <laughs> I'm ready for the naughty one. <laughs> so this is actually from, it's a compilation of comments from somebody, I think his name on YouTube was Sled Boy Sledder. Do you remember him? Oh, I remember it was you like, remember those, Sled like Boy? old ones. Yeah, so like these, these go back. way back from like the first videos up through the years and I've just kind of put them together because I was reading through it and I think it's absolutely hilarious. Right? Yeah. Here's the first one. He says, Sled Boy says, looks like you need a third guy on the boat. I will bunk with Nina. I won't be needing a pillow, ha ha. On second thought, I won't be making it. I have to work 12 hours a day in Manhattan and can't get any time off. Money's not a problem, getting time off is, so you guys enjoy it and keep uploading the videos. <laughs> to which I reply, ha ha, I will let her know thanks for watching. <laughs> and then <laughs> it gets, it just sort of degrades from there. Um, and some of them get better. Uh, this is uh, when I shaved my beard for 100,000 subs. Yeah. Uh, he just comments, uh, beards are nasty, get a shave and get a job. And I say no, and absolutely no. And then, in search of wild elephants, episode 73, he says, it probably smells like elephants in that cabin, hee hee. No. And then he says, it's just a stream of consciousness. Karen, you are smoking hot. Those pink shorts are sick. Hop on a flight to JFK and I'll pick you up, doll. And then right after that, he says, I work 70 hours a week, a miserable existence. And then he says, I'll learn Swedish, please. And then we respond, okay, first Swedish lesson, snooskumer, look it up. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, Sled Boy is one of my favorites. Uh, he says, it's Good Friday, I'm off work, in my basement, I'm really stoned watching this video, laughing my ass off, this is funny, beep. And then he right after the set, he says, did you cheapskates leave a tip at the restaurant? And I say, just the tip, just kidding, that's one of my dad's old jokes. Boom. Uh, <laughs> we're down to the last one here. Uh, this was on provision in the sailboat for six months. He says, I don't see no rubbers on that list. <laughs> Would it be a small size for Brady and or you guys pulling out? And I say, hey, if you really want to pot or something, think about why there's no tampons on that list. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that right. was literally one fraction of our our correspondence with yeah. Sled Boy. So Sled Boy, if you're out there, we love you, brother. <laughs> Keep it up. <laughs> Who this Good person luck, is? Like, how does this person look like? I don't know, but I think She's it's amazing. hilarious. Love okay, <laughs> we're out. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>